I grew up in Germany, where I was born and raised. I would call me always a believer, because I also went to church there as a Catholic, but it was so different. It was so different from what I learned later on here. What I'm trying to tell is you don't have a personal relationship with God because you don't learn this. You just go to church, listen to the preachings, and it's not this... I never had a personal relationship with God. After I was here for a few years, my daddy passed away. And uh, when he passed away, it threw a few questions at me because my daddy was always the one who, when we were little, he prayed with us in the evenings before we went to bed. But the question was now, what is, what will be, where is he in heaven, things like that. So I went to Sharon's store and I asked her if she can help me find a Bible. And she was so patient because my English was back then still not, you know, so King James Bible was probably not the best. So we went through several Bibles with different translations, but the same passage to try to find out which one do I understand the best. You all know Sharon. <laughs> She's very passionate about God and very Christ-like. So she was directly trying to invite me to your church. And I said, ah, oh, no, <laughs> no, not church, right? I want first to read the Bible. She said, oh, please, let me invite you and just come on a Wednesday night. And she explained to me what's Wednesday night going on. And I said, no, nah, not right away. She said, you might change your mind. I give you my phone number. So I had the store phone number. I had her home phone number. I had her cell phone number, everything. And I um, called Sharon after that about a Wednesday night and I kept coming. And then from there on, I kept coming. <laughs> Wednesdays, Sundays, and I can tell you this church has changed me so much over the years and also helped me so much. And I must tell you this church is what a church should be like because they don't let you fall, doesn't matter what happens to you, they are there for you. This is what I call a true church because it doesn't matter where you're at in your life, what happens to you in your life. They're always there for you. They always open their arms back up. And that's what I experienced, the pure love of Christ. A lot of people don't know that I was dealing for a while already with depression and anxiety. And during COVID-19, it got even worse because I was laid off work and um, everything closed <laughs> and I was just at home by myself. I started praying to God because I was thinking, what do I do here? And during this time of prayer, I realized I miss nothing else more than my family. I miss my children. I miss my siblings. And then I prayed and prayed and Ask him, give me wisdom, give me signs. And he gave me wisdom, he gave me signs, and then he gave me peace when I made the decision to go back. And I was happy. My children cried when I told them that I come back. My brother cried, everybody cried. <laughs> so now I have great peace, I'm happy. Well, and last but not least, I wanna tell everybody here that I really love everyone and that I thank the whole church for everything what they did for me. And I thank everybody for their love. And I will be in touch. I am on Facebook. We can always reach out to each other on Facebook. And I thank Pastor Greg for his wonderful sermons. They always reach out to me. They are awesome. And I thank the choir and Gary and Helen and um, everybody else. So I will miss you all. I really truly will, but 
I hope you understand my family. I have only one family and it's time to go back. <laughs>